you have a favorite pitch? One that you went, you know what? No matter what's going on, this is going to do the job. You know, um, pitches, ch- pitchers change over time because your skills when you're 24 are not the same when they're 30 now or that's 32. That's interesting. Your evolution of your, your, your pitching style changes as your career progresses. Yeah, and I, I broke my thumb in 87, which um, when you throw a curveball, when you throw a good curveball, you're able to tuck your thumb, okay? Ugh. So you pull on the seam and you push with the thumb. Pull and push, pull and push. But because I broke my thumb, I had to pitch straight with it. And I could never get that revolution again. So Why did you change. break your thumb? Uh, I was diving for a bunt. That and that. Oh, oh so, so you earned it then? I, I earned oh, it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. he was diving in the Caribbean. No, no. He was, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was diving for a bunt, but he also owed some people a lot of money. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you go there. And they got thumbs yeah. to take care of. Charlie, <laughs> they took my thumb, Charlie. <laughs> they, told, they told me not to go to Bensonhurst that night. I didn't <laughs> think about it. So. That's fine. Fun. Okay, diving for a bunt. That's so noble. Wait a minute. Very noble. Can, Ron, can you show that again? So for those of I'm you watching who are, from this who angle? are not here, okay. oh this my is gosh. the most uncomfortable position that you could be in. So when you throw a curveball, yeah. so you right now, for those of you listening, Ron has two fingers across the top of two seams at where the seams come together at the mm. most narrow point of the ball. Mm-hmm. And then underneath that, instead of wrapping your thumb, which would be like the way you would think yeah. that you that would you do it, throw which is you take come the underneath. flat part of your thumb where the, where the fingerprint is, put it up under the ball, and you throw it. No. What he did was take his thumb in the most unnatural position possible, which is bending it back towards towards the end of his hand and put it under the ball and that's how you throw that thing so every time? So it's kinked at his knuckle. Kinked yeah. at yeah. his knuckle. Yeah. You pull with your middle finger, push with your thumb, and I know people can't see this because it's on radio, Right. but I have a scar on my thumb uh, from throwing that pitch still today. Yeah. Like Ooh. a long scar because it, it used to sit right on that seam and it would rip it all the time mm-hmm. and you'd leave a game many times with this bleeding. Wow. That's, that's called a blood ball. Yeah, yeah. The, blood, blood. <laughs> the old blood ball. How long did it take you? And does that change the uh, rotation of the ball when you put a little blood yeah, on yeah. it? Oh, and uh, is that legal? It, it is. It's a vampire ball, they call it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it scares them just enough. So. 